Hey, thanks for watching. I've got two things to show you, okay? First of all, how I've got this sort of interactive visual showing. So that's the first little hack or tip or bit of magic. And then secondly, how I've actually set this slicer up. It'll change to bold and on hover. It looks a bit like tabs. So there's a couple of little things. And also, I'm going to get this to sort in a different order. Currently, it's alphabetical, but I want it to be in a specific order. And I'll show you how to do that too. So let's just start with the whole setup here. So down here, I have a table. Okay, that's the key. Control T to turn your data into a table. Um, and here's the link, which is basically the image URL. So this is a image URL. Go to any image on you know, a web browser, right click, copy images link. Okay, so that's the image URL. And then there's a little function up here called image. Okay, that's what's in the in this cell, image equals B33. Okay, and then this is just simply referring to C33. So what's in B33 and C33? Well, I come down here and essentially this row here is B33 and this cell here is C33, so it's that row. So how do I get these different things to appear just in that row? Well, that's where my helper function comes in. There's an aggregate in my table. So the five is the key bit, okay? Five means ignore hidden rows. The three could be any of these functions really, but you know, count A is you know, useful for counting the number of bits of text, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the key thing is the fact that when I hide these rows, i.e. when I apply my slicer, so let's just do that, table design, uh, insert slicer for the name, okay? Here we go, click okay. So there's my slicer. And when I click on Access Analytic, only Access Analytic shows. And then down here, this is the only row showing one. Now let me just show you what I mean by that. So if I go equals, you can't see the hidden rows, but I can refer to them here. So there we go. See the rows one. But let me just show you this again. So win is row one, Access Analytic is row two. So there we go, Access Analytic, row two is book is row four, win was row one. So this is basically using a filter function to then filter that table just where the hidden row equals one. So that aggregate function is showing zero for the other rows. Okay, so that's how I'm doing it. I'm just referring to that. Right, how do I get this slicer to look like the one above? Well, let's go up, let's do this. So firstly, slicer up here, change it to four. Okay, and make this a bit wider. There we go, that's a bit better. And then we wanna turn off this heading. So right click, slicer settings, display header. Sadly, when you do that, you also lose the unfilter button. But you can always highlight multiple if it makes sense. In this case, I don't really want it to be uh, doing that. And then under slicer, make the height a little bit taller on the buttons. And then this is the magic bit to make it look like tabs. You just grab this bottom bit and drag it up. And there you go, see the bottom disappears. And then if you bring this line, I just drew a line, okay? If you bring that to the front, you can see how it looks a bit more like tabs on a page. Now the problem is I got this border around the outside. So what you do, slicer, right click and duplicate one of the existing ones, call it sort of, you know, design new, all right, and then for the whole slicer, go to Format, and the border should be None, and click OK, and click OK. And then you get caught out because you think, oh, it hasn't changed, you know, what did I do? So you go back to Slicer, there's your sort of Slicer None, that's your new design. Click on that, and that apply, applies it, and there's your border gone. Okay, the one I've set up, let me just go and apply it here. Okay, I've added a few extra features. So it basically, when you hover over something, it goes bold. It's sort of dark gray with a white font when it's selected. So how have I done that? Okay, very quickly, I'll go slicer. And stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how you get this to sort in the right order. So right click, um, you go modify, and you come down here and you go to different items. So selected item with data, so that's the bold gray. 
I've just gone format and fill color, gone for the dark gray font. I've gone for Aptus extra bold and made the font white. You know, you get the idea. And the other one I'll just show you quickly, hover unselected items. So I've just formatted that and I've made them extra bold with font 12 and the border being dotted. So just apply those sorts of filters, uh, those sorts of um, formats. See, so you can just hover over and it changes a little bit, which is pretty nice. Okay, so that's how you do that. Right, how do I get this to sort? I want it to sort in exactly, let me just highlight all these, exactly the same order as this. So I want win to be first, access analytics second, so on. So I'm highlighting it. Here's the trick. Okay, file, options, and then advanced. Scroll all the way down the bottom. Edit custom lists. Okay. And the area, if you've already highlighted it, that's my cells there, I can import that list and add them. And there they are. Okay. Now with that, after clicking OK, I can go back up here and I can say, right, right click, slicer settings, use custom list when sorting. Click OK, and there we go. It's sorted in the right order. Okay, hope you find that useful. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you got other hacks, other tips you can share with people? Uh, do you find this useful? I'll catch you in the next video.